Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. Let me talk to you about something called creatine. Creatine is a product, um, a supplement product, that actually helps to build what's called creatine phosphate in our muscle tissue. Creatine is a fuel source that our cells use, our muscle tissue uses, our, our cells in our body use as a fuel source for energy production. Our cells produce a tremendous amount of energy through something called ATP. ATP is, is the energy currency in our body and our cells use a tremendous amount of it in order to do the metabolic work that's needed to keep us healthy and alive. Creatine is actually created as a byproduct or a side chain reaction of something called methylation. And we know that in autism methylation problems are quite prevalent and so when we have a methylation deficiency or a problem um, within the methylation cycle creatine may be one of those things that is not being produced at an adequate amount. So creatine um, helps, as I mentioned, to help with energy in the cell. Now, creatine is also very useful for energy production in the brain. And one of the areas that it's been useful for is to help, in many cases, with expressive language production. We know that many kids on the spectrum have problems with language, particularly expressive language. So creatine is something that can be useful in those cases. Creatine as a supplement has been used for years by athletes. In fact, athletes will use creatine as a way to bulk up muscle tissue and to create more muscle power or muscle energy um, through their athletic activities. We have seen creatine helpful for kids who have low muscle tone, um, poor coordination, uh, whether it's gross motor, fine motor, usually the gross motor skills tend to be improved with creatine. It comes in a powder, uh, and the dosing range is fairly large. You're talking about 300 to 1,000 milligrams per kilogram per day, which can be quite significant amount of creatine to give. It's fairly easy to give. Haven't seen really any type of negative side effects from it, although when you do take creatine, it's important to keep yourself hydrated because it does flow through the kidneys and you want to make sure that the body is hydrated in order to flush out you know, extra creatine that is uh, not being used. So think of creatine as something to be used and helpful for kids who have low muscle tone, um, low energy, low metabolic energy, very lethargic, sometimes ex in expressive speech areas. And usually what I'll do with kids who maybe are three, four, five, six years old, I'll be conservative in my dosing. I may start with 500 milligrams twice a day, then work up to 1,000 milligrams twice a day. In some cases, I've gone upwards of you know, 5,000 milligrams or even 10,000 milligrams in a day, but on average, anywhere between 1,500 to 3,000 milligrams a day is about where I'm um, having most kids uh, as their target dose. So again, creatine uh, is a useful supplement and it can be very helpful in just supporting the underlying metabolic aspects, particularly muscle metabolism in the body and again as well in brain chemistry and brain energy too. Thanks.